Introduction Your school is over. It is raining heavily. You open your umbrella and start walking towards your home. Suddenly a powerful gust of wind blows your umbrella away. You are completely drenched. You return home wondering about the power of wind. In this lesson, we will discuss air in detail. Objectives at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to list the properties of air, understand the composition of air, understand the importance of its components, list the factors causing air pollution, understand the power of wind. We all know that there is air around us. Look around. Can you see the air? No. That is because air is transparent and colorless. Take a paper bag, blow air into it and seal its mouth. Does the bag appear bloated? Now make a hole in the bag. What happens? The bag shrinks in size and finally becomes flat. This is because the air that was inside the bag has escaped through the hole. This activity shows that air occupies space. Now take a balloon and weigh it. Blow air into it and seal its mouth. Now weigh the balloon again. Is there a difference in the two weights? This activity proves that air has weight. Take three balloons of different shapes and sizes. Blow air into all three. Do the air-filled balloons appear different from one another? That is because originally they had different shapes and sizes. Air has no definite shape or size. It occupies the shape of its container. Go to a park nearby. Start running in a straight line. Put a handkerchief against your body and continue to run. Does the handkerchief fall? No, it doesn't. The air around exerts pressure on the handkerchief and makes it stick to your body. This activity proves that air exerts pressure. Air surrounding the earth is called atmosphere. The pressure exerted by the atmosphere is known as the atmospheric pressure. Air becomes less dense at higher altitudes. Therefore, the atmospheric pressure decreases as altitude increases. Air is a mixture of gases. Three main gases present in air are nitrogen, N, oxygen, O, and carbon dioxide, CO2. Nitrogen forms 78%, oxygen 21%, and carbon dioxide 0.04% of the air. Besides these three gases, air also contains water vapor, dust particles, and some other gases known as noble gases. Since the noble gases are present in negligible quantities, they are known as rare gases. Every component of air is important and has a role to play. Oxygen is essential for respiration and therefore for the survival of all life forms. It supports combustion and is required in the process of burning. Nitrogen is present in proteins which are vital for living beings. It helps plants manufacture their proteins. It does not support combustion. Carbon dioxide facilitates photosynthesis. It prevents grains from being destroyed by insects. As it dissolves in water, it is used to prepare soft drinks. Fire extinguishers contain carbon dioxide. Water vapor plays an important role in the water cycle. It helps maintain the temperature on Earth by trapping infrared radiation of the sun. Take some soil in a glass and add water to it slowly. Do you see bubbles forming in the soil? What is the reason for the formation of bubbles? Soil contains air between its particles. When water is added to soil, air is replaced by water. As a result, bubbles are formed. Air present in soil promotes plant growth as well. Air is also present in water. 
It helps fish and other aquatic life forms survive in water. Sam is on his way to the National Science Center. He rolls down the window of his car to enjoy the fine weather outside. A bus emitting black fumes passes by. He starts coughing. Do you know why? The fumes emitted by vehicles pollute air. When inhaled, they irritate the windpipe and the lungs. Air is also polluted by the harmful chemicals emitted by factories. Paints, varnishes and sprays contain chemicals that pollute air. Landfills where waste is deposited emit harmful gases that also pollute air. Moving air is known as wind. Wind moves clouds and causes rain to be distributed evenly over the earth. Wind power is used to generate electricity, charge batteries, pump water, irrigate fields, etc. The biggest advantage in using wind power is that wind is an inexhaustible resource. The energy generated by it is pollution-free. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Air has weight, exerts pressure, and occupies space. Air has no fixed shape or size. Air is a mixture of various gases. Air contains nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, some other gases, water vapor, and dust particles. Every component of air has an important role to play. Air is polluted by toxins emitted by factories, vehicles, Landfills, paints, varnishes, and sprays. Wind power is used to generate electricity, charge batteries, pump water, irrigate fields, etc. Wind energy.